Sabah al-khair. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a question and it goes. Assalamualaikum ustaz. Is it true that if you perform prayer and a person walks in front of you, he is shaitan? Let's break this down inshallah. Ladies and gentlemen, this issue in Islamic law is called the issue of a sutra. Now let's define first what this particular issue of sutra is. Now our scholars say that sutra is an item that you place in front of you or that you pray near to to indicate to people that you are praying so that they will not walk in front of you. So that is the particular issue of sutra that we are discussing here. Now the ruling of sutra, the ruling of praying and having something placed in front of you or that you pray near a particular thing, uh, the stronger opinion is that our scholars say that it is greatly sunnah. Now the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam, for example, narrated by Imam Abi Dawood, when the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam says, when one of you prays, he should pray facing sutra, and he should keep himself close to it, is such hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam to state the recommendation of this particular practice. Now before we go into the discussion of is he shaitan, is uh, let's look at the items that are used as sutra. Now, the first item that is mentioned in the traditions concerning sutra, for example, in the hadith of Al-Imam Muslim, Sahal ibn Sa'din reported that between the place of worship where the Prophet sallallahu prayed and the wall, there was a gap through which a goat could pass. So the first item that becomes sutra or qualifies as sutra is a wall. So at times the Prophet sallallahu would pray near a wall. Now the second item, as mentioned in the hadith of Talha, is that the Prophet sallallahu said, when one of you place something like the post handle of the camel saddle in front of him, then let him perform salat and not concern himself with who passes beyond that. So wall and then a camel saddle. The third item that is also found in the hadith of the Prophet, and it will include number four as well, is when the Prophet sallallahu says in the hadith of Imam al-Bukhari and Muslim, the Prophet says, when one of you prays, he should put something in front of him and if he cannot find something, he should set up a stick or a cane. But if he has no cane with him, he should draw a line. Then what passes in front of him will not harm him. So the items that at least we find in the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ would be none other than a wall, a saddle, a cane and if not, a line. Now, the objective of having a sutra when you pray is so that people know that you are praying and they do not walk in front of you. And this is so that they do not disturb you in your prayer, they do not affect you in your khushu in prayer. Our scholars also say that this is applicable for a person who is praying alone. As for those who are ma'mum to an imam, the sutra of the ma'mum is in fact the imam. Our scholars also then mention concerning the distance between a person praying and the sutra that he possesses in front of him. In the hadith of Imam Muslim, Sahal ibn Sa'din reported that the Prophet would pray between him and the sutra would be a gap through which a goat could pass. So it's not so far, it's not too big of a gap, but rather something that you put close to you. Now we draw near to the discussion at hand. The person asking, Ustad, is he shaitan? Oh. Now, the hadith is in the narration of Imam al-Bukhari and Imam Muslim, narrated Abu Juhaym ibn al-Harith, the Prophet sallallahu said, if the person who passes in front of another person in prayer knew the magnitude of his sin, it would have been better for him to wait for 40 years than pass in front of him. So this hadith indicates that there is a sin to doing such action walking in front of another. Now, again, when this happens, right? So you are praying, Allahu Akbar, as you are praying, and there is a sutra in front of you. That is a item that tells people that, you know what, I'm praying, so do not walk in front of me, do not disturb me in my khushu, you know what? Respect prayer, respect the person who is praying. Now, what did the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said? If one of you prays towards an object, meaning a sutra, separating him between the people and someone tries to pass between him and the object. So between you and the item of sutra, he tries to walk in front or in between. Now let him turn him away or stop him. But if he refuses, he should fight him for he is a devil. Now the hadith thus say or mention that particular item of shaitan. 
but we need to look at our scholar's interpretation or commentary to truly understand what it means. Now, the first one is, which is important, is that a person should fight him. So in the narration of the Prophet wasallam, the word is fal yuqatilhu. Now here it does not necessarily mean to fight or to use a weapon. Our scholars say that the meaning of this particular word is to simply just turn him away strictly. To turn him away with a bit of seriousness. To put your hand out and to not allow him to, to pass by. Now our scholars say that this is an action that is supposed to be done especially when there is a sutra. Al-Imam al-Baghawi rahimahullah says, Al-Muradu min al-Muqatala al-Dafa' bil-Anf la al-Qatl. Now concerning that last statement, for he is in fact shaitan. Now again, our scholars do not say that suddenly this person has magically turned into Satan himself, but rather he is doing the work of shaitan. In another hadith of the Prophet sallallahu the Prophet states that, for he is accompanied by a qarin. To mean that shaitan accompanies him and convinces him to do that particular ill act of disturbing a person in worship, which is considered to be a very horrible act. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. The meaning again of shaitan is not necessarily turning into shaitan, but rather acting or doing the works of shaitan. This hadith, this entire discussion also reminds us that it is sunnah that we have a sutra in front of us when we pray so that we can retain our state of khushu and that people know that you are praying so that they will not walk in front of you. Alhamdulillah, ladies and gentlemen, and that's it. Thank you so much. If you have benefited from this particular video, please do like and share. I'll see you in the next one.